हेलो मैम माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द टोटल मास ऑफ स्टीम इन इंजन सिलेंडर ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन एंड मिसिंग क्वांटिटी पर स्ट्रोक सेकंड क्वेश्चन प्लीज सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट दिस फैक्टर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ फॉर्मूलाज let us first understand the concept of total mass of steam we know that in steam engine takes certain mass of steam from boiler during each stroke of piston and some steam left behind in the clearance space so this steam left behind in the clearance space is known as the cushion steam so we can say that the total mass of steam that is m is equal to ms plus mc what is this ms that is the mass of steam used per hour so how to measure this ms so for that we have to measure the mass of steam condensed in the condenser over a specified period of time now if we observe this ms then the period of time is already mentioned that is per hour that is the period of time is equal to 1 hour and the steam left behind in the clearer space is known as the cushion steam that is mc and how to measure this or how to calculate this so we will understand its a calculation with the help of the indicator diagram of a steam engine so this indicator diagram is explained in my previous video so please refer my previous video now here is the pressure and here is the volume so this curve ef is known as the compression curve and this curve bc is known as the expansion curve now for the formula of the cushion mass of cushion steam we will consider one point h on the compression curve so i will take here one point h now on this vertical line pressure is mentioned so with reference to this point h i will write here pressure ph and here on horizontal line volume is mentioned so with reference to point h i will show here the volume at point h now how to calculate this mass of cushion steam that is mc is equal to vh by vgh now if we understand here this vh is already present in the diagram that is the volume of steam at h so this is the vh now what is this vgh that is the specific volume of steam with reference to this pressure at point h that is ph so we have to refer this pressure at point h that is ph so here pressure is there and now we have to refer this steam table now in steam table we will take the pressure table that means in the first column pressure is mentioned so here is the pressure table and we have to find out the specific volume so here word word specific volume is important so specific volume is mentioned in meter cube per kilogram and suffix g is there so why suffix g is there because there is the dry and saturated steam and that's why there is the suffix g so in this table at, as per the given pressure that is mentioned here or in the from graph we can take any particular pressure at this point h and then we will refer this specific volume that is vg so vg for that is the volume for dry and saturated steam so we have to consider this so word specific is important we have to take only here the specific volume of steam and we have to refer the pressure ph that is the pressure at point h now we will move for the next concept that is the dryness fraction so how to measure this dryness fraction so dryness fraction x is equal to volume of steam in cylinder at k now we know that this bc is the expansion curve so we will take here one another point that is the point k on the expansion curve so in the same way i will select here any point k then on the pressure line 
I will write here the pressure P K that is the pressure at point K and in the same way on the horizontal line I will mention here the volume at point K that is V K. Now X is equal to we have to take volume of steam in cylinder at point K that is V K. So I will write here as a V K. Now in the denominator volume of dry and saturated steam at K. So how to find out this volume of dry and saturated steam. So on this indicator diagram that is for pressure volume diagram. We have to draw one saturation curve th that is for PV line. So here is the curve MN indicates the saturated line. And this is the line for dry and saturated steam. So on this line we have to extend this point k so if i extend this point k then i will refer here as a point k dash then again i will extend this point k dash on this horizontal line so this point is nothing but the volume at point K dash and this point K dash is on the line of that is for the dry and saturated steam. So for the denominator that is the volume of dry and saturated steam at K we have to refer this volume. So this volume is not the specific volume but it is the total volume for the dry and saturated steam. So if this uh, diagram is not mentioned then how to find out theoretically this volume for dry and saturated steam. So there is the second method that means at this point K we have to refer this pressure at this point K that is PK. And again we will use here the pressure table that is the from steam table we will use here pressure table. So in the first column pressure is mentioned so we have to select that particular pressure and again because of dry and saturated line we have to use here VG. So VG that means the for specific volume for dry and saturated steam. But this is the specific volume that is meter cube per kilogram. So for 1 kilogram this volume is mentioned but we require here the total volume. That's why we have to multiply here the with the mass of steam inside the cylinder. Then we will get this answer. So here VK dash. So I will write here with reference to this diagram. I will write here VK dash. So here is the formula for the dryness fraction. Now we will move for the next term that is the missing quantity per stroke. Now what is this missing quantity per stroke? That is this missing quantity due to the steam is getting condensed inside the cylinder. That means this steam is getting converted into some water droplets and there is some missing quantity of the steam. So how to calculate this? So here is the formula that is ms plus mc. So we know that this ms plus mc that is nothing but the total mass of steam minus we have to take vk by vgk. Now what is this vk? So vk that means the volume of steam at point k. So here is the VK and VGK that is the specific volume of steam with reference to this pressure PK we have to find out from the steam table. So we can use this formula and there is second formula also that is the volume of dry and saturated steam. Now if we observe this diagram here is the volume of dry and saturated steam at point K. So here is the volume of dry and saturated steam that is VK dash minus volume of steam in cylinder at point K. So volume of steam at point K that is VK. That means we can say that this missing quantity is equal to VK dash minus VK. So we can also take the reference for these two volumes and we can calculate it. We will solve one problem. I will read what is the given question. The total mass of steam in an engine cylinder is 0.032 kg. It is found from the indicator diagram that at a pressure of 3.5 bar the total cylinder volume occupied by steam is 0.0134 meter cube. 
find the dryness fraction of steam at this pressure and also the missing quantity. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. Mass of steam is given 0.032 kg. So this mass of steam inside the cylinder that is the total mass. So we will say that here M is equal to 0.032 kg. Then pressure is given 3.5 bar and the steam volume is also given 0.0134 meter cube. Now if we consider one particular point on expansion curve that is point K then related to this point K we will plot here the pressure as well as steam volume. So this curve BC is the expansion curve and we will select here one particular point K. Now I will show here the pressure at this point K that is pk and this pressure pk that is 3.5 3 bar so i will mention here this 3.5 bar then if i extend this point k on this horizontal line then it will show us the volume and this volume is also given 0 0.0134 meter cube so i will show here 0 0.0134 meter cube so here pressure is in bar and volume is in meter cube. Now we have to find out what is the dryness fraction. So how to find out this dryness fraction. So first we will find out what is the specific volume at this point K. So how to find out. So for that specific volume for dry and saturated steam. So here is the saturation line. Now I will extend this point K on this saturated line. So it will be point K dash. Now we will use here the steam table. So how to find out the volume at this point K dash. So for that we have to refer here the pressure that is 3.5 bar. Now we will use the steam table and from that steam table we will use here the pressure table. So related to this 3.5 bar pressure what is the specific volume. Now specific volume for dry and saturated steam. So this condition is important. Dry steam means what there is no any water droplets present in the steam. That means we have to refer here the value for the Vg for this 3.5 bar. So that is equal to 0 0.524 meter cube per kilogram. So this is the specific volume and that's why unit is per kilogram. That is for 1 kilogram of steam the volume is 0 0.524 meter cube per kilogram. So this is the value from the steam table. So we will write here V to the suffix G and K. Now this is the specific volume. So specific volume is important. Now from this specific volume we can calculate here the total volume. So how to calculate the total volume? So for 1 kilogram of steam that is for 1 kilogram of dry and saturated steam volume is 0 0.524. But we have the total mass 0 0.032 kg. So we have to multiply this. 0 0.524 with this 0 0.032 then this kilogram kilogram is getting cancelled and we will get here the total volume so total volume of dry and saturated steam is equal to 0 0.0167 meter cube so this is the total volume for the given point so here is the point k dash so if i extend this point k dash Then we will get here 0 0.0167 meter. Now it is easy to calculate the dryness fraction. So x is equal to. So we know that x is equal to this volume at this point k divided by the volume when the steam is dry. So this is we have to take the ratio for these two points. That is 0 0.0134 divided by 0 0.0167. That is 0 0.802. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the next. So it is easy to understand this question with the help of diagram. 
Now we will move for the next question that is we have to calculate the missing quantity. So missing quantity again we have formula that is the volume of dry and saturated steam at point K. So here we have to refer the total volume for dry and saturated steam that is 0 0.0167 minus volume of steam in cylinder at point K. So here is the volume of steam in cylinder that is 0 0.0134 meter cube. So if we sub take these two amounts and we take the subtraction then we will get the answer 0 0.0033 meter cube. And this is the answer of second question. Now I will read second question. The following results were obtained by measurements taken on an indicator diagram of a double acting steam engine. First, immediately after cut off volume is equal to 0 0.1 meter cube and pressure is equal to 12.5 bar. Second, immediately after compression has begun volume is equal to 0 0.03 meter cube and pressure is equal to 4 bar. The speed of the engine was 105 rpm and the steam supply per minute was 180 kilogram. Find the missing quantity in kilogram per minute. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the given data with the help of indicator diagram. Double acting steam engine is given and after cut off volume and pressure is mentioned. So in this indicator diagram we know that this point B is the cut off point. So after that cut off point we will select any random point that is the point K and we will show here the pressure and volume. So if I extend this point K then pressure is 12.5 bar. So here I will mention 12.5 bar and volume is 0 0.1 meter cube. So here is 0 0.1 meter cube. Then in the same way after compression data is given. So after compression we know that this EF is the compression curve. So I will take here any random point that is the point H. So volume and pressure is given. So we will extend this point H. So here pressure is 4 bar and volume is 0 0.03 meter cube. Speed is given 105 rpm that is speed capital N we will give here the notation and steam supply 180 kilogram per minute. So in the duration of 1 minute steam that is 180 kilogram is there. Now we will move for the calculation part. So for this calculation part we will first calculate the number of stroke. So how to calculate the number of stroke? So if we observe double acting steam engine is given. So for the double acting steam engine speed is also mentioned 105 revolution per minute. So in one minute how many revolutions are there? That is 105. So how to calculate the number of strokes? So number of stroke is equal to 2 multiplied by capital N. That is 2 for double acting steam engine and speed is N. That is 2 into 105. So here per minute speed is given. So here number of strokes we will get the answer in the duration that is in the same duration that is in 1 minute. That is 210 strokes per minute. So here is the number of strokes per minute. Now how to calculate the mass of steam used per stroke. So we know that ms that is the mass of steam used per stroke that is equal to mass of steam used per minute divided by number of strokes per minute. Now here time duration should be same for this mass of steam used as well as number of stroke. So if we calculate this then we will get the mass of steam used per stroke that is for one stroke. So here duration should be same. So uh, if we observe for this mass of steam also that is steam supply is given as well as number of strokes that we have calculated duration is same. So we will take here 180 divided by 210 that is equal to 0 0.857 kilogram. Now 
we will calculate the mc so that we can calculate here the total mass so this mass of cushion steam that is the some steam left behind in the clearance space and we have to calculate mc so how to calculate that so we have formula that is at point h here is the volume at point h that is 0.03 meter cube and we have to take the specific volume at this point h for the dry and saturated steam so how to calculate the specific volume so for that we have to refer this pressure pressure is 4 bar so by using this steam table we have to take here the pressure 4 bar and we have to find out the volume for dry and saturated steam so for dry steam we will use here the suffix g so vg here we have to take the value so this specific volume that is 0 0.462 meter cube per kilogram so we have to refer this value that is vgh we will use here suffix g and h so it is the formula to calculate cushion steam that is vh by vgh so if we put the value then we will get 0 0.065 kilogram now we will calculate at the pressure of 12.5 bar what is the specific volume so again for the 12.5 bar if we calculate vgk so here is the point k so again we will use the pressure table and we will find out the value for Vg that is 0 0.157 meter cube per kilogram. Now we will calculate the missing quantity per stroke. So we have formula that is total mass. So total mass is the addition of mass of steam used ms plus cushion mass of cushion steam that is ms plus mc. So we have already calculated these two masses minus Vk by Vgk. So what is Vk? So Vk that is the volume at this point K that is 0 0.1 and Vgk that is the specific volume that we have already find out from the steam table that we have to use here. So here is the formula that we have to use and after calculation we will get the answer 0 0.285 kilogram. But if we observe this is the missing quantity per stroke. If we have to calculate the missing quantity per minute, then how to calculate? So again we have to go back reverse. So here we will calculate that is 0 0.285 multiplied by again here is 2n that we have to calculate this. That is 2 into 105. 2 into 105. Then we will get the answer for this missing quantity per minute.